What is a digital twin? A digital, tw a digital twin is a replica of the network, of, a, of an entity, a physical entity in a model where we can ask questions of that model and see what might be the case in that real physical system. So what does that mean in reality? Well, we can create a digital twin of a communication network and we can use that to understand how we can optimize that network, how resilient that network is to possible impairments, and what might happen to that network in the future. And it's a very powerful enabler for lab applications as well as in the field and operational networks. So who actually uses them in the field? At the moment, there are some applications in the field. Uh, we're part of a Horizon Europe project where we're looking at how we can build a digital twin, which is appropriate to put into an operational network uh, to support various use cases. And the use cases we're looking at there are for uh, op energy optimization as well as teleoperated driving. So that's still a bit in the research stage and we're working with a number of European partners on that. Uh, but when, when we put a digital twin into the operational network, it's quite a powerful enabler because when you can, when you can ask, your, ask your digital twin what would happen if this change were made, then you can spot possible side effects of an adverse change. If an, if an intelligent application wants to make a change to your network, you can test it on the digital twin and see if it's got any unwanted side effects and veto it accordingly. But it can also uh, play a role in uh, arbitrating between conflicts, between different agents wanting to do different things. And it can also be used as an optimizer. If you can test a, a hypothesis many times about changes to the network, you can find a, a more optimal configuration and drive up the performance. So what are the key components of a digital twin network? Great question. Well, clearly to build a digital twin, we need that model, that thing which is able to answer the question, what would happen in this scenario? What would happen in that, that situation? But that's not all we, we need to build a digital twin because we need to make that reflect reality. We need to have that, so that closed loop to the, the physical entity. So we need to be able to understand the, uh, where the sites are located. We need to understand how they're configured and the configuration can change uh, over time. And we need to understand the configuration of the various uh, network intelligence, which is, which is optimizing the network. We need to understand the, uh, the radio propagation environment. So what's, what are the channel conditions like? What are the, uh, how, how is that changing over time? And we need to understand how the, uh, how the subscribers are using the network. What services do they want? Where do they want them? How are they moving around? How fast? What are their characteristics? So we understand that stimulus on the network. And ideally, we want this as low latency as possible. We want to, the faster we can reflect in the model what is happening in reality, then the more use cases we can address with the digital twin. So how does VLV fit into all of this? particularly as we look ahead to things like 6G. So, there's quite a number of ways we fit into this. I think we're uniquely positioned because we have a strong lab presence, but we also have a, a strong uh, presence in the field and the operational networks, because we can collect data from the live networks, understand how the networks are performing, how they're trying to be used by the subscribers. That gives us a lot of raw data we can put into the, into the digital twins. So, that, that's, that's part of it. But there's also the, uh, uh, the aspect of the um, bringing, bringing that reality into the lab, that means that our customers can start to test their, their 6G evolutions, test out their, uh, drive their research into what's going to be the new technologies in 6G based on uh, replicas which are inspired by, the, by the, the realities of the networks that exist today. And we're part of a, a project that's just started, it's another, another Horizon project uh, called uh, 6G Dali, uh, which is again a consortium of universities and other vendors and other partners. And what we're doing is we're, we're building a, a, a hybrid uh, federated test bed. So there are physical test beds, but there's also digital twins. And between them, so te physical test beds have their own strength. Digital twins have their own unique strength as well. And together they make a very potent research uh, enabler for developing those technologies for 6G. So I'm very excited to be seeing how that develops over the next three years.